Hello. Okay, well today I thought I would start demonstrating a little bit in my mixed media journal. I did go ahead and buy one specifically made for mixed media because of the type of paper that is in the book. It's a really nice thick cardstock. It'll hold up to mist, it'll hold up to paint, and a whole bunch of other things like that. I went ahead and bought two of these because both of my girls are really getting into they really like the mixed media. It's easy for them, it's simple, and they're still so young. So um, I wanted to be able to show them how they can express themselves with art um, without being too bogged down by technique um, in scrapbook pages and things like that. So we went ahead and started doing the mixed media journals and tomorrow we're going to work on making the covers together. So we'll have a much prettier cover than what you're seeing at the moment. But what I thought I'd do today is just kind of demonstrate some of those golden products. So I'm going to start with um, the black gesso because I want to show some paints that will really show up well against black gesso because everyone pretty much sees white um, and this gives you an opportunity to see what the black is like. So when you open it, it just looks like black paint, but it's a little bit thicker than black paint. Let me get my craft mat because I want to put it in between the pages. Okay, so now I want to demonstrate the difference between some of the different products by Golden. So for example, here's the molding paste. Now watch what happens when I open this. You see how that just stands up just like that? Molding paste is pretty thick and what molding paste does is it adds texture to your project. So say I take a little bit of molding paste, this time I'm just going to use what's on the lid here. You can see how, how thick this is. I mean, if I dab my brush in there, it's going to leave brush strokes, it's going to create peaks and valleys, and it's just going to leave a lot of texture. Well, it does the same thing on your paper. Okay, so that was, again, the molding paste. And I wanna work quickly because I don't want this template to get glued down to this, to this page. So the next transition I'm gonna show you is the regular gel. Now this dries typically clear, even though it's white in the container. This again is the regular gel gloss. Typically it dries clear, but I don't want it to do that. So in my little, template in my here I have the metallic pearl paint and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add that gel to this bit of paint and you see how thin that paint was but this gel thickens up that paint so it's not like water it has a much thicker texture to it now Alright, so you can see my background was still a little bit wet, but that's okay. So let me show you here. I'm hoping you can see the texture of the molding paste. When that dries, those little peaks and valleys will add that texture to the page itself. So this is the molding paste and that's what molding paste will do. Again, you can add color to molding paste. If you want a different color on here, all you have to do is mix some um, acrylic paint into that molding paste and you can have another color. Over here is the gel. 
and so the gel you can see has the peaks and value valleys but it's more sheer and when this completely dries it'll look more like a glassy effect with that white pearl paint mixed into it and so that goes on there so for multimedia what you do is you just keep building on top of this I'll start adding color and other things with other templates on top of it and that's just what makes multimedia fun so I hope this explained at least three of the products from Golden again this is black gesso this is molding paste and this is regular glossy gel mixed with acrylic paint so hopefully that explains a few more things a little more clearly thanks for watching Wow, that page was a lot of fun. I'm sorry I didn't record as I was going. It was one of those haphazard mixed media projects where I was all over the craft room and I wasn't sure what I really wanted to do and it just came together and um, it was really fun to do. So this is more of my style as far as I've never been one to be one to keep a good paper diary like Dear Diary yada yada you know this is what happened today but I've always been one who has done artwork and then mixed either poetry in with it or different things like that and I've kind of gotten away from that over the years just because life gets in the way but I thought I'd go ahead and try doing a mixed media journal um, I just really think it's more my style and I did start one with that big uh, spiral that I have in an earlier video but um, that one is so large it takes a long time to finish one page whereas this journal is very small so I'll just share some of the techniques that I did today so I put today's date and you already saw um, where I added the paste um, last night as well as the gels and all I did today was added the matching acrylic paint just over the top now for future reference you can mix that acrylic paint in with the paste and your paste would be a solid color instead of mixed um, but since that's how I started it that's how I went ahead and finished it then I took some brilliance ink and I stamped this bird from Stamper's Best it's the steampunk bird and then I hand painted it with Lindy Stamp Gang Magical Micas and let me see if I can hold that up a little bit and you can see how it just glimmers and shines it's so beautiful so it's on that black background and those micas are so thick and strong that they can stand up against that black background so then moving towards the top I used another stampers best stamp and here I also used some Lindy stamp gang embossing powder so you can see that adds another layer of dimension and texture to the page and then it also kind of merges in with the paste so that when I heated it, it it all just kind of blends so that's what that page and this is the overall layout of the two pages together this was kind of funny this is one of those happy accidents here I had just written something in gel pen and then I stamped this stamp with stampers best to put the heating bossing powder over it and a little bit of this was still wet so all of this ended up getting heat embossed including what I wrote so that was pretty funny um, it worked out great and I think I will try that technique on some other pages and it really helped blend the colors together of the bird in with the page and just kind of blend some additional colors into it so it's not all gold so anyway I thought this is how I would just kind of do some daily journaling of things that I'm doing in the day in the life of but I can still do art at the same time and it's just the perfect little combination for me so that was my first mixed media journal page in this new little book that I got that I showed yesterday which my daughter and I still need to make our covers for um, but 
it's really neat when you add the gel media from Golden and things like that because you end up with this texture on your pages that is just really nice for the touch. There's just something therapeutic about that. Um, having the embossing and then the rough texture of the paste is just really nice. So I hope you get to try out Mixed Media. It's another artistic outlet that is a nice stress reliever. So I hope you enjoy.